Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you are in the world. I want to just invite you guys to become a part of my leadership program. Leadership program discusses business on a spiritual, a physical, and mental um, level. We deal with emotional um, challenges, emotional uh, leadership, emotional intelligence, we get us prepared for the world as it is and as it is coming present and future. We get us prepared to let go of the past. And so with that being said, I just wanna give you a little bit of update of what we're feeling right now. Some people are feeling great and some people are not feeling so great. Well, I was up about three o'clock this morning and I know that some of you were as well, depending on your chart. And I was hearing flow, 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 flow with it, flow with it, flow with the energy, flow with the energy. And you know, the significance of flowing with the energy is not fighting how you feel, becoming accommodated and understanding what you feel so that you are able to articulate your emotions, which has to do with emotional intelligence. Emotional, no, emotional intelligence is something that many people have overlooked. I teach that in my leadership group my leaders teach that and I call them my because I'm a seasoned um, woman I sometimes relate um, to myself as an old woman but I'm not old I'm just wise and I believe in the leadership that we had in the church whereas the mothers actually groomed the women and the men groomed the men back in the day and they showed them the way because that's how generations are created. And we need healthy generations, not just for working purposes, but as children going into the work to generate the new world that we're looking at. From a kingdom perspective, you can't get a kingdom without quality people and quality people come through you spending time. It's not quantity all the time that we want to produce, but we want quality. And that means that you have to improve part into a few like Jesus did. So when we look at the energies for now, we have at least seven planets that are in retrograde. And um, Aries just went into Gemini. And that means that the first house energy has went into um, the third house energy. So you have a lot of communication and energy going on in the third house because the third house is about community, uh, communication, short distance travel, siblings and siblings wanting to connect communities wanting to connect communities serving each other but what happens when aries is not um, groomed on a quality level or aries even when you look at the greek gods or clash of titans when you look at aries and you see that aries was always frustrated and angry well, well aries was frustrated and angry because he's the energy that dwells within our body or that energy that dwells within our body that perpetuates change it motivates us it um actually um motivates us to get up and do things so what are we motivated to do are we angry because we don't know what we're doing are we angry because we don't know how to channel our energy and that is the question that we all have to ask ourselves so to begin with what we want to do is channel the energy that we feel you feel the pulsating of the energy and i know that some people are saying well i'm just tired and i'm sluggish but that also has to do with gemini and it's an air energy so you got fire and air coming together because aries is fire and what you do on an emotional intelligent level what we do it's not easy because we have not talked about these things many of us and we have not discussed this in a, a lot of our communities a lot of our communities are just coming into accepting that we can discuss the heavenlies and the earth in the manner of the stars and um, the moon and the sun you know because a lot of that information was taken from us so when we put fire and um, air together it doesn't always work well together we have to learn how to um, get it to work well together and that means that we have to ground our air energy pull our minds down into the earth and let that fire come in and settle and channel that fire energy where it needs to go as in right now i'm communicating with you all because if i didn't my mind would be scattered all over the place so i'm focusing on one thing so i'm bringing that air energy into perspective 
connected into a place and the energy is flowing with divine order in a fire, a fire that says, I'm passionate about teaching. I'm passionate about get, giving information, but yes, I have to also um, give the right information and make sure that I am focused so that I can channel and give the right information. So if any of you listen to this today, it's Tuesday, um, August 23rd, um, and you want to become a part of our membership or our leadership group, it's $25 a month. I'll put the information at the bottom of the description uh, panel. Um, you can also email me at ifwbuilders at gmail.com. As you can hear, I'm hyped up. I have the energy, but you know what? My body is saying, just sit down and speak. So it's a speaking time. Not to mention that today, the sun went into Virgo. So Virgo is about health and wellness. It's about servanthood. It's about serving. And it's also analytical. So it'll be thinking about everything that it could be thinking about. And this is not even half of the energies that we're dealing with because as i said we got about seven planets in retrograde and uranus just went into retrograde so that means that our um, technology information is turning around within us and it's going back into the past to bring forward something from the future so also let me head you up on the fact that virgo will be going or we'll have our new moon in virgo which means that you want to plant virgo um type of seeds virgo like what professions you want to go into um what is your ambition um what you want to see harvest for the uh, virgo full moon when it comes up in six months or so so you look up virgo information or things about the virgo house whatever you have in the virgo house and then you can get an idea of what you want to plant right now like right now i'm planting new business endeavors because i serve people i'm planting new business endeavors in in, in astrology in psychology in theology because that's what i do those are my studies and why do i study that because i I love to help myself and people understand their behavior. So I'm planting that for Virgo because it's a servanthood and a virtue house, according to the Bible. Yes. All right. So you guys be blessed and I will see you soon. You'll become a part. Oh, uh, yeah. Seven o'clock Eastern time next Monday, the 29th of August. We have an event kicking off with me and Charmaine branch who is a social media marketer um we're going to be discussing our areas of work to um give you more information on what we do and also if you want to you know be, begin your business endeavors all right so be blessed and thank you for listening thank you for subscribing and thank you for sharing